Go down. Come boy. Come for that. So we got three generations here. This is uh, three generations of Dakota, Mon, and Ime. And uh, Ime is here for the Desna training. And so him and Mon and I were out doing some work today on the leashes, doing leash work. And he's highly skilled, he's a rock star. Of course, he's a rock star. Look at his, look at his uh, genetic makeup here. <laughs> so, Dakota, he was 10 years old when he had Mon, and uh, he uh, he was able to transfer all of the handler focus that he has. He's got the, the best handler focus of any dog in the world. He's so so incredible his focus. And so uh, he was able to put that to Mon. That, that genetic makeup transferred straight down. Ime got it directly from Mon. It's, it's identical. So any one of the three of these you see there, uh, it's like working with the same dog. It, it's so phenomenal. Come over here, Mon. Turn around. Turn this way, Mon. Come over here. Come around. Come on, just turn. There we go. There. There's my boys. What? What? How are you guys doing anyway? So we got females in heat. So the uh, males are on edge a little bit. But this group is good. They're, uh, they're all good, so. These are all golden ring dogs, too. <laughs> This is a golden rig lineage. eBay's got it both eyes, just solid. He's so good. He's quite a unique dog because he's a bobtail as well. He's one of the only Norwegian elk hounds in the world that's a bobtail. Now you can see where all this handler focus comes down, right? Like, if you want a family dog, a good dog, a dog to work with in the wilderness, to work with in the yard in town, Anywhere you want to work, this lineage is the greatest because they focus on the handler. They just want to be by the handler. That's all they want to do. They want to do what you want them to do. It's just such an incredible thing. And to have these little guys just just track straight down is so profound that it's quite amazing um, when you, as a breeder, to see these genetic patterns and to see it all just just keep flowing straight downhill. Now I wanted to keep this genetic alive, so I brought in a female as an outcross for Mon, and Mon's brother, Jaeger, Dakota's boy, Jaeger. So I brought in a female named Silver Nova, and so Jaeger has had a litter with Silver Nova, and so has Mon. And so uh, the daughter of that Jaeger litter I kept, her name is Silver Nessa. So Ime's sister is here. Half sister, of course, but almost full sister because Mon and Jaeger are brothers, right? But working with these two in Dakota is, is so profound that uh, it, it's easier working with these two because they're both younger. 
Um, Dakota has a little less patience with Ime than Mon does. Mon has a tremendous amount of patience with him. So they, they, they work together so well, these two dogs. And this whole lineage here is a, is a clone line. I mean, they're just peas in a pod. And so they, all the behaviors, everything is, is identical. So when, I, when Mon was this size, he, he, he was exactly like this. He was exactly like this dog. It's fascinating how, uh, how good they right. transferred. I, I just get such a kick out of it. So they've really, really uh, been able to put that genetic straight down. It's amazing, really. And Ime, he's a, he's a rock star boy. He got some skills. Oh, he's good. I mean, Mon is exceptional, of course. Mon is uh, probably, uh, he might even excel past his dad, uh, Dakota, <laughs> just because of the way we worked with Mon, I suppose. Uh, Dakota has skills that Mon doesn't, and Mon has skills that Dakota could have had, but we did not develop. And Ime, of course, has all the skills that Mon has. So Ime and Mon are identical. They each have the same. So they're very, very skilled, these two guys. It's quite amazing. You can do anything you want with these two boys. Yeah. Both, both think alike, turn their heads alike. Everything's the same. <coughs> it's quite fascinating. This is really, really good transfer of genetics. So Silver Nova was, uh, was a good match for Mon. Very good match. She brought that down really nice. Of course, Mon's mother, Tekla, brought that down from Dakota. Exceptional, too. Tekla's world class, as you know. You stay out of his face and he will snap you. Dakota, he, he doesn't allow these little guys to jump on his face. So he may well get a snap if he does it. Mon, you see, they, he's not as high ranked, so he could, they can jump on Mon. But they can never jump on the top dog. They will always get snapped. It's just one of those things. <laughs> you guys, why don't you guys just get in my lap here? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are good. You guys are good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good. 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 There's my boys. There's all my boys. Pretty good crew of dogs, eh, to work with. Pretty amazing. Yeah. It's not every day you get to see three in a row like this. It's uh, not happening too often anymore. Most breeders don't have the chance to show you. So yeah, Dakota, he'd still like to be breeding. He'd like to still be trying. So if we ever get a female in heat that he's not related to, we're gonna let him have a, have a crack at it. He's 13 and some. So he's still doing good. He's not even gray yet. He got no gray hair. His teeth are still pure white. I'll tell you what, you feed a dog raw, you get some good teeth, boy. You get some really good teeth. <laughs> he, he likes to tell Mon, don't jump way up on me. Yeah, you guys are good, boy. You guys are good. Hey, settle down, teammate. Don't be pulling on that. Try not to bite through that. So yeah, I wanted to take this opportunity while I have him here. Ime goes home in a few, just a short bit here. So I wanted to uh, have that opportunity while he was here to do this video. It's a pretty cool video. I won't get a chance again for a while. So it's kind of nice. Now, tomorrow I'm going to do the exact same thing with Vida, Mon's sister, and her boy. Because I got, well, I got a girl too. So I got Dakota, Vida, and Vida's pup here. 
the exact same scenario out of a out of a daughter, and I'll show you that tomorrow. Uh, they're magnificent. Oh, so yeah, the exact same thing went straight down. Just it's fascinating. You won't believe it actually. But yeah, if you're looking now to get good dogs, boy, this line, wow. So yeah, and Karu, he's mated to Kai, a granddaughter of Dakota. Kalia has pups in the garage, out of Karu. And Tika over in Creston has out of Swix, has pups. So we have some phenomenal dogs right now. So yeah, if you're looking for a pup this spring now, now's the time to reach us because they're hooking up breeding now. We brought Tika from Montana in. I don't know if we're going to get a hook up with her, but uh, Carew is on the go there. So he's trying. But yeah, this is a phenomenal uh, display here. Quite profound. How you can transfer down, just boom, boom, boom. It's really, really good. I actually have uh, Letta. I have Letta here too. And maybe on Sunday I'll do a video because I got Dakota, Tora, Mon's sister. I have Kai, Mon, uh, Tora's daughter. And I have Letta, which is the daughter of Kai. So I have actually four genetic. I've got the four here. I'll, I'll maybe do that on Sunday, too. It's very, very cool to see. Uh, not, not many guys give you that opportunity to see it. It's kind of neat. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. I've got three generations of uh, leaf here. Well, I, I don't have the mail. I got the pup from three generations. That's all. So that, that won't work. The mail is out in Vancouver. That's Loki. So Leaf, Loki, and Elsa. I have the three. This guy likes to chew on that harness. I could sit here for half a day and these guys would not go anywhere. They're locked to the hand. The whole works of them too. They would just hang out. It's uh, just it's just the nature of this lineage. If I stop, they stop. If I get up and walk to the camera, they'll all come there. This is a very, very good line. <laughs> you guys are good. Well, I hiked a lot of miles with Dakota. Oh, man. He can work at great distances, too, boy. He can work with me from half a mile away. He can see me way past where I can see him. He'll come out of the bush up there. He'll flag his ears that he sees me, lets me know. Hey, hey. Hey. And lets me know. And uh, It's pretty good. Don't, don't, don't push him. That's okay. He's doing all right. He's doing all right. He's okay. He's okay. All right, you guys. That's a pretty good video. That's a pretty good video. All right. uh, that's a pretty good video. We'll go do a little more leash work. Come on, Amy. Come on. Just let me up. I'm going to try and stand up here. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. Hey, take it easy. Hold it, take it easy. Give him a break. He's just here by me. <laughs> Koda, he keeps the law. <laughs> he lays the law down. <laughs> These little guys. He still puts them in their spot. Pretty good. They give him lots of slack, though. I'm sure Mon would... Uh, very easily hold his own these days, but he's so polite. He's such a good boy. So good. Yeah, it's really good. Nice when you have polite dogs. These are all intact males, so pretty cool. All right, now I got to get up here. 
<laughs> you guys. That's my guys. There's my guys. Alright. That's a good video. You guys come by me now. Right by me here. What? Let's see if this camera is still working, you guys. What? What?